I don't want this, you know what I'm saying, to be any more hard Why on me as it is. Why would you come and is. bring me a ring and then you don't even give it to me? I'm Who angry. does that? Nah, you f***ed up. But Zeno is a mother ass. Who the f brings a ring and then snatches that back? Who the does that? You know what? You. Malcolm. Yo, you have to come out here because I need excuse you to meet me. with CBJ. Hello, excuse me. How you doing? Hey, I'm gonna call you back. Hey. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Hey, Dub, you want to excuse me for a second? Hey. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Carly. Zeno, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. My name is Ben Zeno. A lot of y'all probably know me as the former owner of The Source magazine. I had songs out, Booty Rock the Party, a lot of stuff. But now I own Hip Hop Weekly. Yeah, I seen you in there. You're incredibly beautiful. Thank you. I saw you on stage with Stevie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a thing like the band thing. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you from here? I'm from Trinidad. You're from Trinidad? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, that's why you're so beautiful. Thank you got you. that exotic thing going on. Thank you. <laughs> Zeno, got it. On stage, I put two and two together, and just right away, there was a vibe, there was a connection. It's for some, I, I, feel, I felt it. <laughs> You're gorgeous. I'm, I, Thank I, you. Do you have a man? I'm sure you probably got some money. <laughs> no, I'm no. totally single. What about you? No, no, I don't have anybody. Come on, no, stop. For real. No, 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 don't make me blush, <laughs> definitely. No, I'm single. Antonio and I split up a while back. It wasn't a bad breakup. We just didn't have much in common. We're gonna remain friends, and I'm totally ready to play the field again. I think maybe I, I could, you know, we could go out or something, take you out? I would love that. Really? Is that an invite? Yeah, of course, <laughs> if you know if you would like to. Yeah. I would love to. Well, maybe we could exchange numbers. Absolutely, let me get your number. Yeah. He definitely makes me nervous. Benzino has a certain swag that I like. He's definitely my type. I guess I'll be waiting for your call. Okay, I'll text you. Yeah, it was great meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. Right? Thank you, all right. <laughs> Make me nervous, kind of. <laughs> Take care, Carly. All right. Bye. Bye. Toast to me really appreciating you come out tonight, considering it's my house and it's our first day. Absolutely. I got no problem looking in your eyes. <laughs> Trust me. You are absolutely amazing, though. Thank you. When I walked into Benzino's house, it was so romantic. Benzino just, he, he knew, he knew what to do. He has a candlelight dinner, which he cooked himself. Love is definitely in the air. Are you dating a bunch of women right now? No, you? because, you know, I, I don't want to go through that anymore. I want to be in love. I want to be a one-woman guy. I know I could be. You think so? Of course. Come on, like, look at you. Look at how, you, how come you ain't got a man? <laughs> well, I was seeing someone, and it didn't work out. How come? For me, I didn't feel like he was supportive of my career. Antonio and I, our conversation, it just, it wouldn't match up. I need someone to say, okay, you know what? I got your back. Let's build an empire together. That's what I'm about. So what are you doing out here in Atlanta? Start a new magazine called Hip Hop Weekly. How's that going? Really well, thank you. Really? You know, I've been through a lot, you know, as far as like the industry goes. Tell me about it. I did a little research on you. For real? Yeah, the feedback, it was not great, but I'm like, you just seem like such a nice guy. I mean, I was raised well, you know. Like, my mother and father, you know, taught me well as far as morals and, you know what I'm saying, values. Yeah. You know, you, you sit down, you get to know somebody, have a conversation with them, go out with them. And then, you know, then you can decide if you like that person or not. Absolutely. I mean, you're, like, super beautiful. <laughs> so, like, when I seen you, of course, you know, the attraction was there. But just talking You're making me blush. No, but you're very <laughs> sweet and you're humble. Thank you, I appreciate that. And I'm probably more nervous, definitely, <laughs> than here, trust me. <laughs> Truth, yeah. How do I know you're not running game? Honestly, like, ever since, you know, that day when I met you, I just, I can't stop thinking about you. That's crazy, because ever since I met you, you've been on my mind. That's good. <laughs> so I can see you a lot. Absolutely. Like, I haven't felt this way in a long time. I'm loving the fact that a man feels like I'm the one for him. That's, that's a good feeling. I remember you said that you liked um, 
filmmaking and yeah. directing. So I got it's a it's a book. It's called The Film Book: The Complete Guide to the World of Cinema. Wow. Okay. And some good divers. You did not have to. It's just a little something. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. So, almost every night at Benzino's house. He may be cold as far as Malcolm's concerned, but at the house, it's very hot and steamy. Wow, babe. Yeah. You didn't have to. I wanted to. Sleep good. So, got a little something else on the tray for you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Key? Yeah. You got me a key to the house? To the crib, yeah, you know, mi casa su casa. You know Are we saying? ready for this? What you mean? I thought, I mean, I thought we was. It comes to a point in a man's life where you feel like, wow, this right here really could be it. She's beautiful, she's talented. And you know, I'm not getting no younger, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how long, you know, all these good looks is gonna last, you know? So I felt like I want to speed the process up, you know what I'm saying? What's the matter? I had a talk with Malcolm. He suggested that, you know, I needed to stay hot. And, you know, Benzino's a little cold. Benzino's cold? Listen, yeah. he's, got, he's just giving me some advice about okay. what his artist should do. What does that got to do with us? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like we're not because industry. Because if I'm rocking thought... with you, you're going to be in with me in the industry. Not everything's about the industry. If you want to let them guide your life and everything has to be hot and cold or whatever, they need to get you a hit mother record. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like you so mother hot yourself either. I'm like, that's not what you were saying last night. So what you saying? You just do what's in your heart and what your heart's telling you to do. And don't worry about no industry, no internet, and what other people say. Because that's not love. Love is about what you think. When you're an artist, everything really is about a look. But at the end of the day, you know, there's still a personal life. So there's your... There's your hip hop and there's your love. You know, she has to be able to decide between the two. I've been in this game for a minute and it has ups and downs, man. But I don't, I don't quit. I'm not a quitter. I'm not gonna quit on us. If, if, but, but you gotta, you gotta go easy with the, what they think about Zeno. You know, give me a chance. I hate the fact that we have to go through this. It is what it is. Swag, the gang. You want a little fun? Look out, cause here I come. Today I'm hooking up Carly with a feature for Hip Hop Weekly. Apparently her label's been making a lot of noise about her dating. Yeah, no, Steve. <laughs> I just want Carly and her label to realize that I am good for her career. Cause if you ask me, she look good next to Z. I think it's for me. It looks good. Really? Yeah, I'm saying. I mean, things are popping, you know? Even with that Vince me, and that was crazy. That was... <laughs> yeah, he likes your stuff, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, you my know? gosh. He I'm excited stuff. about that. Right? I'm so appreciative of what Benzino's doing for me for my career. You know, it's hard for a man to actually help a woman with her career 100%. I'm loving this right now. Moving forward, look, it's important that we gotta, you know, straighten it out with your people. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's still on my mind. The situation that happened the other day, I don't want that to happen ever again. If it's a situation where, like, they keep saying, yeah, Zeno's a bad look and Zeno, but you know, Zeno bringing Vince Herbert to the table. That was Zeno big. doing photo shoots. I, I hope they looking at that like dudes for you real. You are definitely stepping up to the plate and I can't, uh, how am I not gonna acknowledge that. So the next conversation you have is going to be with them. Zeno's in my life. So here I was thinking that I was going to get signed live by Carly's career, but that's not the case. I mean, Carly is a great, great, great girl. I'm not going to lose her to anything. You are the pieces to my puzzle. Well, it seemed like I'm um, um, one of the pieces to your puzzle. You got a lot of pieces. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, I got, you know. I got this for you because 
my puzzle's not complete without you. Ah, uh, it's hot. Yeah, so I wear it. That's like, crazy. I am, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sad. Mm -hmm. So I wear this part. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Baby. What's going on? I want to talk to you. All right. After Benzino gave me the keys to his house, I started seeing a whole nother side of him, things that I did not see before I had the keys. His temper, period. Period, point blank, he has a temper. Somewhere down the line, I don't know, I just started to see this anger. You just can't even talk to me anymore. It's like, it's not even a conversation, it's just anger. I mean, really, no, it's not that, it's just that the only thing we ever talk about really is just about you and your career. Like, our conversation can be more to it than just that. Okay, let me stop you there. When I'm in this house and I'm cooking for your kids, that's not industry, that's real, Life, every day to day. Let me explain something to you, honestly. Let me explain something to you. Okay, well, go ahead, explain it then. And then when you finish, then let me talk. I want to have an adult conversation with you without you going in a rage and being angry. I've had issues with my temper, there's no question. But I just don't feel like I'm so much. Can up. you address the fact that I said that you're always angry all the time? I just did with the you want me to say? I just said that, like, I have a problem with my temper. What, okay, but what you, you want me to do? Like, I want, I I want just, you to you know say, I mean? like, you know what? When you tell me, babe, we're always talking about the industry or whatever, my solution to that is, you know what, babe? Let's go somewhere and start talking about us. Get away from everybody and just me and you talk for eight hours about us. Okay, look, look, look. Okay, that's my solution. Right. But what is your solution to being angry all the time? How the f are we gonna talk about a solution if you, if you don't even know like what the problem is? The problem is that you're angry all the time. We already. Oh, oh that's the problem. The problem? Yeah. So this is the whole problem be between me and you is that I'm angry all the time. That's one of the problems. Carly just thinks I'm angry for no reason. I'm angry because she makes me that way. Love is a two-way street, and right now Carly's career is taking up both lanes. There's some other things. About what? There's some jealousy situation. For my jealous about. If I say I gotta go to the studio, I need you to trust me, babe, and know that I f***ed with you. You mean the time when you said you was gonna go um, work with some Jamaicans when you didn't work with no Jamaicans and after that you went and worked with the guy from Trinidad that you told me how much your mother and them wanted you and him to hook up and then you go work with him and you lied. Baby, No, baby, crazy. my ass, what about, I sound crazy. What's so crazy about that? When I said I'm gonna work with some Jamaicans. Right. Okay. Right. Caribbeans, Jamaicans, same thing. Don't Play with me, yo. Like, I'm not a toy, yo. You knew who you was going to work with. I didn't tell you first because I knew you would feel a certain way about it. I thought that you was the one that keeps it real, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm admitting that you're right. Okay, and I, and I appreciate that. When that happens, maybe that's what gets me to be a little jealous or a little bit upset or something like that. It's just a natural human reaction. You just have to work on it. I gotta work on myself, you gotta work on yourself. And I'm ready to work on it. I'm ready to be there for you. I mean, that's cool. That's cool? Yeah, that's I think that's a good thing. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. You look nice. My situation with Zeno has gotten a little bit complicated. I moved out the house, and we don't talk like we used to. Right now, I'm interested to hear what he has to say for himself. You know, I care about you, and I love you. I know, like, I can be jealous. I know that. And, you know, I know, like, my temper probably flares up because of that, you know, but there's, like, nothing I wouldn't do for you. But you know that I definitely, definitely, sincerely, you know, fell for you. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. You know, if there was any doubts, I wouldn't have did that. I've had this for a while now. What are you saying? I mean, if you doubt that I love you, I'm trying to say that. Does this show any doubt? Are you ready for that? Are you ready? I'm not ready. The first thing she says, I doubt that you love me. I don't know how she can have doubts in me. I I did everything I could to show her that I loved her. So right then and there showed me. And I just looked in her eyes and I just, 
I couldn't do it. I don't want this, you know what I'm saying, to be any more hard on me as it is. Why would you come and bring me a ring and then you don't even give it to me? I'm Who angry. does that? Nah, you f***ed up. But Zeno is a mother ass. Who the brings a ring and then snatches that back? Who the does that? You know what? You. You can use me, right? I'm not using you. But you I can't love you. Me. You feel me? Me getting with you, Benzino, was a good look for you. Because I put you on. Because if you didn't get with me, you wouldn't be the you are now. That's it. We ain't rocking no more. Carly said she had her doubts. But in the end, Zeno had his too.